If any hazardous substances, including curing compounds, are used on site, then a safety data sheet, SDS, must be obtained and made available to all persons who may be exposed to the substance. The person with control must consult with all persons who might be exposed to the substance about the intention to use the substance and the safest method of use. Persons likely to be exposed must receive training on health risks, control measures and correct use. They must also be informed about the need for and details of health surveillance where appropriate. The strength, water tightness and durability of concrete depends on the concrete being adequately cured. Curing compounds and release agents should comply with AS3799 or the most recent equivalent. Before a release agent is chosen for use in the concrete element, it should be checked for its compatibility with the curing compound and other applied finishes and joint sealants. A proven proprietary combination curing compound release agent can be used. Specialist advice may be necessary from the manufacturer or supplier of the products used. The person with control should consult their state or territory OHS authority with regard to specific requirements for the manufacture or supply and use of hazardous substances. The National Code of Practice for the Control of Workplace Hazardous Substances, NOHSC 2007-1994, can provide further information on the management of hazardous substances. Structure of release agents. Release agents can be formulated from up to three different material groups. One, release film formers. These are the materials which are the base substances mainly responsible for the release effect. Example, various natural and synthetic oils and also paraffin waxes are used. Additives. Additional or intensified effects are obtained with these materials. They include release boosters, wetting agents, anti-corrosion additives, preservatives and the emulsifiers which are necessary for waterborne oil formulations. Most of the release agents in use today also contain other additives, some of which react chemically with the concrete, causing targeted disruption of setting. It is then much easier to release the concrete from the forms and the result is a more general purpose product. 3. Thinners. These products act as viscosity reducers for the release film formers and additives. Their purpose is to adjust the workability, layer thickness, drying time, etc. Thinners are basically organic solvents or water for emulsions. Release agent requirements. The following requirements are specified for the action of release agents, both in situ, cast in place situations and for precasting. Easy and clean release of the concrete from the form. No concrete adhesion, no damage to the form. Visually perfect concrete surfaces. Impermeable surface skin, uniform colour, suppression of void formation. No adverse effect on the concrete quality on the surface. No excessive disruption of setting. No problems with subsequent application of coatings or paints. Or clear instructions for additional preparation are required. Protection of the form from corrosion or premature aging. Easy application. Another important requirement specifically for precast work is high temperature resistance when heated formwork or warm concrete is used. Unpleasant odour development is also undesirable, particularly in a precast factory. For site use, another important requirement is adequate rain resistance and possibly trafficability after the release agent has been applied. Curing compounds. Liquid curing agents can be sprayed onto the concrete surface with simple tools, example low pressure garden type sprayers. They must be applied over the whole surface as early as possible on exposed concrete faces immediately, when the initial shiny surface of the fresh concrete becomes matte, and on form faces immediately after striking. It is always important to form a dense membrane, and to apply the correct quantity as specified, and in accordance with the directions for use. Several applications may be necessary on vertical concrete faces.